Do we show it? YouTube away. <laughs> no, so serious. I'm just very lovely about myself. No, I'm sorry. I, I, Hi guys, welcome back to John Pet Cross. Uh, so we have just reached our six years mark in our marriage and we wanted to check in on each other to see how we feel as I think it's important to be on the same page. Mm. So today, we will be doing a couple quiz. And this quiz is called our marriage journey quiz and it's said to give insight onto a couple dynamics. And this is not some random internet quiz that we found. Uh. This is an evidence-informed tool based on research and studies on marital health. We're going to put a link of this uh, quiz in, in the description so you all can try so. This quiz is split into three categories. Mm. Positive bonding, communication and expectations. Yes, and how this will work, right, is that you're supposed to do the quiz independently, okay. reflect on it, and then come together to have a discussion on whether it is different. Okay. Okay, so for us, we are going to go through some of the questions together. So I want to say, uh, Pat and I really don't know each other's answer. Uh. We really do it. We did this quiz separately yesterday, and then we downloaded it into a PDF. Mm. So now we're going to share our answers. Okay. The first question is, my partner and I spend time together doing things we both enjoy. Don't tell that. Ah! One, two, three. Agree. Agree. Eh? Boring, <laughs> eh. I know it's not strongly agree because John is always doing what I like. It's true. It's, it's true. true. And uh, he always sometimes got whine a bit that we always just do what I like and we don't really do what he likes. But what he likes to do is very dangerous one. Not like <laughs> example, uh, need to touch animals, jumping off a cliff, or like bungee jumping, all those I can't. Yeah, so Pat and I are fundamentally very different people. Um, mm. And I think how we even started dating, right, was that I tried to be more like her in our dating phase and she tried to be more like me in our dating phase. So we were dating with an illusion of each other's ideal partner. Then we slowly, slowly realised, okay. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, so like for example, I, I, I prefer more, I like museums for example, and Pat doesn't really appreciate I mean, it's not that she don't like it, but she just, she will speak through it. I need to read everything. You don't absorb anything. So I just reread it. I go there and leave the museum feeling like or oh, the coolest thing was the giant dinosaur bone. You know what I mean? As opposed to like the story. Okay, okay, then why did we both write agree? I think we have a very clear idea now of what you like and what I like. <laughs> and there's a very small overlap. Uh. There's a very, very small overlap on what we like. And we just do those few things. Uh. I'm traveling. Yeah, we are there or like we pretty much just eat or you like find a common show that we like. But those are not things that I classically like as a person. We, Neither are they things that you classically like So we learn to compromise. I guess, if you want to package it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so like for me, I'm also very open to trying stuff. Like mm. to me, the fun is in trying stuff. Whether it's food, whether it's experiences. Um, I like to just try then you cannot, cannot then just to realise you don't like it. But you know, I don't like to have the preconception of knowing that you're not gonna like it then mm. hence you don't try. Pet is a bit more... Not so adventurous. Take care of her life. Yeah. Yeah, and she like, she wants to focus her time on things that she know. If she knows she yeah, don't like, definitely. if she guess that she don't like, right? She don't want to try. So that's our key difference. Okay, next question. My partner shows respect and trust for me. Easy lah. One, two, three. Agree. Strongly agree. Oh. Sorry, you don't think I show trust and respect for you enough? Hey, agree is enough. Strongly agree is enough. <laughs> I thought this would be strongly agree, to be honest. Am I lacking? I think love and affection, I don't feel like you are lacking. Yeah. But in trust and respect, Compared maybe. to many wild stories that we hear out there like with their, their wife check on their phones and all. Mm. I don't do any of that. The trust part, don't have that? I feel like it took me a long time. And I'm not talking about uh, me talking to other girls or whatnot. Mm. I wasn't even thinking about that. That one, I feel like I do have your trust. Mm. For me, what I talk back about is that it took me a long time on my entrepreneurship journey, right? To take stock of the journey that I have overcome. This one really took me a good five, six years. In fact, plus my working life also because I started in a managerial position. Mm. To allow myself to have a life to allow myself to take a break, to allow myself to say, if I'm healthy and happy, mentally and physically, my company will benefit. And to believe that, to believe that, you know, because sometimes it's an excuse. If your company, everybody is stressed out and they're working very hard, but I'm taking a break because it's good for the company. It's not lah. Mm. No, you gotta be in the trenches with the people that you're working with. Ma. It took me a long time to come to this realization, to allow myself to 
not hustle on a weekend, you know, or mm. not be listening to ebooks and reading business books mm. and consume stupid content. Yeah, but I feel like sometimes you judge me on that. What I was thinking about when I saw that question was that time when you asked me like, hey, John, you have a lot of opportunities in your life. Yeah. Do you feel like, are you like, wasting it or not? Like okay. you, you could have been more successful than you are, that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before people get a wrong idea and think that I think you're not enough, right? Uh. That's not what I meant. I feel that we are at an age where we have so many opportunities right there for us to grab. And mm. he himself knows that he's in a privileged, privileged position to capture all these opportunities and turn it into something as compared mm. to me, right? But the thing is, I'm not in his position to think that he has really been through a very long day and the stress that he's handling, right? It's not giving him space to, to capture those opportunities. Like, like he needs some time to rest. But mm. I just keep thinking, out. every time I see him, he's the, at the rest space. But when I'm not seeing him, actually he's doing a lot, a lot more, which I'm, I don't see it. Lah. So I think as wives, maybe before we complain that looking seeing them play game then like hey, you know like you should yeah. be doing something else right maybe you think about like how hard they have worked in doing the week first la. <laughs> it's not it's not even that la, to be honest can i work harder yes la. do i have more bandwidth probably la. but i remember in that conversation that was very casual for you right i think you were in a car when you yeah. said you're on a drive from somewhere yeah. uh, it stuck in my head until now i think it's been maybe a year already yeah yeah i constantly think about whether i'm doing enough and whether i'm uh. wasting um the pieces that i have I'm sorry for this. No, it's okay. I think it, it drives me, push me as well. Lah. So, but do I feel like you trust and respect me a lot? I sometimes then go to the point of, I, I feel insecure. Mm. Whenever we, we meet a lot of very, very successful people. I'm just wondering, is it in your head you're feeling it? John also No, no, you are enough for me, sorry. No, it's okay. There's nothing to apologize for. Okay, now I remember this for many, many years. <laughs> no, nah, but you must push me. A good partner must know when to push. Go kick at the questions. Ask it. My partner and I understand how to most effectively support each other when upset or facing difficulties. One, two, three. Somewhat Strong. agree. Ooh. I realize that I strongly agree is because I know you will do it for me, but I don't do it the way that you hope that I will do it for you. Yes. Yeah. And this is very personal, and I don't blame Pat in a sense whereby maybe she's easier to read off in what she wants. Mm. A way to pacify me is just uh, a bit more challenging. I like to think that we don't fight for fun. You know what I mean? When we <laughs> fight, it's like there's a real disagreement here. And we very pick our battles one. It's not like mm. we fight over every little thing. In fact, we don't fight very often one. Mm. Um, but when we do, then I remember at the end of the thing, Pat say, why every time we fight, you win? Then I remember feeling what well, mad disappointed that, oh my gosh, she tried to win. Yeah. If I always end up having to apologize, even though I feel upset as well, why am I getting the shorter end of the stick that I have to end up? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Then I have to pacify you. Yeah. But, yeah, lo. But you know why, what? Because most of those fights is you cause the friction. I feel like when the friction is caused by me, mm. I de escalate it. It doesn't turn into a fight already. I mean, most of the time I successfully de escalate. Like, no, I fuck up, right? But when it happens to you and you, you, you don't de escalate very well, right? Yeah. So then it turns into a fight. So then when we slowly quarrel and we go back down to the root cause is that you started it up. Okay, I, I feel that it's not that I don't want to de-escalate. I feel that my emotions got over me when it is my time to de-escalate. Like I got angrier than I thought I would be or like I'm more affected than I should be. Then I, I have no time to go and think of how to de-escalate and not make it into a fight. Yeah. I just want something out of him. Like, I want him to apologize. I want him to back off. And I can empathize why he answered somewhat agrees because uh, I remember there were times where I think a few years ago, right before COVID, he was very, very stressed. And every time he come back, right, he just want peace and quiet. And he would just go to the room straight and he just want to be alone. There's nothing I can say or I can think of that can make him feel better. And I felt very, very lousy about myself. Like, there's no way I can cheer him up and... But there uh, probably was nothing you could have done though. Maybe, honest. yeah. And, and I think during his darkest moment, um, there were times where he's under so much pressure and I still add on to it, right? And then there's one time he broke down. Nah. And then she just asked like, what more do you want? Like, what mm. do you want from me? And then that's when I'm like, oh, okay. I, I pushed the trigger. Like, I triggered him already. Mm. And even before him reaching that stage, I felt that I there was nothing I could do to properly sit him down and ask what's going on. 
Mm. I, I don't have the right words. So I'm not very eloquent with my words when it comes to comforting somebody. But she is very good at it. I've been the lowest time of my life, right? And every time I'm able to walk out of it is because he was there. Uh-huh. And he is really She the- she was sometimes call me for a prep talk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see, I was just gonna tell me something, maybe me, yeah, maybe confident, maybe not scared, maybe this. Yeah, like because she got burped, also she will text me and say how many uh, hiccup. <laughs> stop my hiccup, guys. My talent is to stop people's hiccup. I tell you, if one day he really leave me, I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> He's my pillar of strength, and I've got so many places with him beside me. Mm. But I realized that I couldn't be the person for you to go. Oh, don't my. cry. To be so with you too, eh? <laughs> Not so serious, I'm just being very lousy about myself. No, like, I'm sorry. I, I see all the things that you've been doing for me, but I couldn't rise up to the occasion to do this. But I do want to say that I honestly think that we are at different stages in life somewhat. Especially mm. in our career, in, in our stresses. Mm. Or rather, different path. It's easy for me to relate to your path because your path is the majority of people. Mm. But Jackie and I in my company are the only ones that are on my path. Yeah. yeah, so it's easier for me to relate to you than you relate to me. But but I can't take it as an excuse because we are both human. How is it that you have such skills to to help me and I cannot even help you or be a base support? You are, you are, you are. I feel like over the years, right, I have learned to self-regulate my problems to the point where I don't need you. I know. Yeah, and so many times, right, when I'm down or like very stressed out or feel anxiety and whatnot, right, mm. and then you attempt. And your attempt means everything to me. But when I see you attempt to make me feel better, right? I will say the things to make that you better. want to hear yeah. so you will Back off. stop stressing me out more. Yeah. So this is why I need to die first, guys. <laughs> 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 I cannot. He can live without me if I can't no, no, live no, without no, no, him. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just a very difficult person. Hey, by the way, uh, in, in the, if you all do this quiz as well, right? And if it gets emotional and whatnot, please like take a break. In our previous course, right? The Engage Encounter course. Got, got time out all that, got, got safe word one. Uh, yeah, and uh, someone getting angry and whatnot, got safe word one. Next question. My partner criticizes or ridicules my opinions, feelings, or desires. Once in a while. Never. I'm sorry. Come tell me. <laughs> Sometimes la, I feel that he's on the higher horse. Like whatever I say, right, whatever I feel, don't mean the thing. La, 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 it's ridiculous. But whatever if I you agree, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't disagree with that. So I'm like, like, how come you can feel this way, I cannot feel this way? Like, why is there a right way to feel? A recent um, incident. Uh, escape room. Uh, ah, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody's going, but I don't want it because it's some medium shit and then got ghosts and then I'm just a scary hey, cat. All hindsight are damn fun. Okay, I shout out them next time. I shout out them next time. So to me, it's like, a, hey, go ahead and play because they're your friends. Your friends are here to play with you, right? Mm. Great. So I don't have to play. So I'll sit down. And then what? Well, I think he just like trying to guilt trip me. Eh. Then I'm like, what? I'm scared. What? Like, why yeah. can't I be scared? To him, it's not an excuse. Yeah, sorry. To him, it's an excuse that I'm scared. It's like, no, 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 everybody no. are scared. It's like, why can't you just go and try? Yeah, and, and I think this is something that it will be a perennial disagreement with the both of us. Like forever until forever. the end of time. I feel like I've been trying. Like to me, if scared is a feeling, mm. right? It's not a door. So hey, you want to do one jumping now? Yeah, but you not scared, man. Scared ah. You know, like like when I was like, hey, you want to do skydiving, and which she eventually did, right? Yeah. You want to do skydiving, and she's like, I don't understand why you're not scared. Then I'm like, I'm scared. We're gonna jump out of an aeroplane. But if I had an option, I don't want to do it lah. Uh, so, so he then ridicule my this option. I never ridicule lah. I'm just in the end, okay, so basically the context is this, okay? It was some form of New Year's Eve gathering with our, our friends, right? And then we were all there to play the floor is lava. Then after that we were all going to go uh for an escape room and then Pat is like, I go home first. Pat say is thinking, right? She will never do this with me, or never ever. And so today is a golden opportunity because we got other friends there and they are willing to go with me. Yes. And so Pat gets to get a guilt-free pass to go home. Yes. Right? And then for me, I'm like, but this is a New Year's Eve celebration, like for our little friend group, rah. But she, I was like, why, why won't you just go? Because we don't even know whether scary or not scary. I mean, you know, the poster is scary, like that's it, lah. She's like, no, I cannot. I'm scared. Then I'm like, you know, then that's the point, Because you know, it's a scare actor. You know, it's not some ghost relic. I don't want to have to go to the toilet scared, bathe scared, sleep scared. I just want to not have the yeah scared. I just don't want to be in that situation. So. 
I want to liberate myself. I want to. No, I cannot. Do, I cannot. Don't be scared. Do you realize that for you to write never, I really gave in to everything. Because you write never, what? I never ridicule your opinion, your feelings, your never anything. Yeah. So I'm actually, I imagine I actually very good. Okay. You are also that my opinions are not ridiculous, lah. That's why. <laughs> my partner and I agree on family planning. Example. Whether to have children, timing, and number of children to have. One, two, three. Strongly agree. Agree. Why? Why? When we were in the phase of having, or the thought of having kids, right? When uh, we were in that phase, nah. Uh. You never really express whether you want or don't want. Then when we were half-hearted, or I am half-hearted, I jump. Every one. time I ask why or don't want. Uh, up to you all. I said I want. Okay, let's try. I said I don't want. Okay, I don't want. Like I felt as though he was pacifying me. But I also know that if we really have, he's going to be a great dad. We both wanted. We both had tremendous difficulty. And then when we talked about IVF, and, and then Pat said if it's IVF to get there, then I'm not comfortable anymore. So then, to Amen. me, ah, uh, you were the one that have endometriosis. Yeah. You were the one that went for multiple operations, one keyhole and one C-section looking. You are the one that have gone through multiple mental turmoil, or have to have. You are the one that I've learned later on that you will cry or tear in the toilet when the pregnancy kit fail. You put yourself in my shoes and you wonder whether I would give you any form of pressure if I die so on the kit. I know, but I think it helps if you were to tell me a answer deep from your heart. I want you to tell me you want or you don't want. I don't want. But not because I mean that that we have been through all this and we didn't get right. Yes. It's really you don't want to have kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I operate by a sense of duty. Whatever sense of duty that is my duty, right? It does not matter whether I'm tired, whether I had enough sleep. Whether I'm well rested, whether I have enough money for myself, it does not matter. If it's my duty, it is my duty. As a son, as a Singaporean, mm. and as a Catholic, it is a duty to have a child. Yeah. And I am duty bound mm. to. So when when the time felt right, whatever arbitrary time that is for our little marriage, right? Mm. Shall we go for like try and make a baby? Then it's like yes, because we do have a duty. Replace our birth replacement rate. Give a grandchild to my my parents and your parents, and we made an oath to say we will, um, we will bear kids. Mm. So that's why I went along with it, lah. Mm. And should the child come, I will do my duty to love and raise a child. Mm. Yeah, and I feel like I'm very wholehearted in those things. I agree. Yeah. I so agree. now, when the vessel has gone through multiple trauma, when the vessel is no longer that keen and afraid. When the vessel literally have health issues that can prevent this, I feel like I'm no longer duty bound. IVF is against the Catholic faith to begin with. My parents have seen through it, and they yeah. no longer ask. Right? They, yeah. they, 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 there's zero expectations now, because they saw you suffer with this, and then with the birth replacement rate, I think we produce a lot of content now uh, for <laughs> couples in Singapore. I don't know lah. Now I cannot help it lah. Yeah. Hence, you remove all the duty from me. You ask me now. We got extra room where we used to film to exercise to for me to play guitar, or put another person here. We have to wake up three times a night to fit. No, maybe we play guitar. Is that good yeah, enough? Yeah, that's why my answer is strongly agree. <laughs> <laughs> is that the best answer I've ever given you on this topic? Yes. Okay. Wow. See, sometimes you need this kind of quiz to push you to talk about. It's true. It's true. The question is: My partner and I agree on how social media should be involved in our relationship. Example: What information can be shared on social media, or who we can contact through social media? One, two, three. Strongly agree. Oh, lucky. Ninety-eight <laughs> percent. My only ninety-eight. Strongly mean? agree doesn't mean hundred percent, right? Yeah, 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 um, yeah. No, I mean there are, there are times that basically the stuff you choose to post, I feel like, I mean it's hard to believe, but I also got some limits. Like what? <laughs> or what I prefer? See, I don't want to talk about it now. <laughs> For us to even start this channel, we realize that we have been putting ourselves um quite out there in mm. social media, and we are not afraid to share on a lot of things. Like for example. 
when uh, I'm going through whatever I've gone through for the pregnancy, for the trying to conceive and everything, right? Mm. I do have friends coming up to me and ask why I am putting all these out. Like, why am I sharing with people? I just want people to not be ashamed of what they're going through. And this has been a very silent topic yeah. with, with, amongst women. And I feel that we need to support each other. La. So like, last time when he was filming After Hours and Real Talk, uh, there will be episodes where he will talk about us. He respect me a lot. Like he will send the card to me and say that this one can say or not, this one can say or not. Then, uh, yeah, lor. then we will, we will decide yeah. from there. I, I think for me, it comes from the point of, even if, if something especially big, to us big, but rather personal, right? We might sometimes post about our feelings or certain mm. things we learn on like Instagram stories, for example. Mm. And people that know uh, or are going through the same thing as us, right? They will they will read up, they will know what we're talking about mm. and they will ask us about it. Please don't get us wrong, we're not here to give you false hope about love. I personally feel that we are as genuine as we can be really lah. Uh, yeah. My partner and I agree on how to balance our careers and domestic life. One, two, three. Strongly agree. Agree. I feel like this is you talking about. I think when I was an employee, <laughs> you also feel like I spent too much time at work. Then I never do enough. Now when the business is a bit more established, I don't need to feel like I'll go and work on weekend. Then... Hey, you say you're not affected with I'm working not, on weekend. I'm not. Weekend, like. Yeah, I'm not. But it's just, now you want to hustle, you can hustle. But last time I want to hustle, I have to go through hell. Eh. Okay, I, I did put him through all that and I need to be honest because I'm a very sticky girlfriend back then, or even wife. Like, I remember when we first moved into the house and it's just the mobile of us, right? Every night, when I go home, and I reach home at like 7.38, right? I'll text him, where are you? And he said he'll be come home soon, come home soon. And then when he come home, right, I'll be a bit angry. I'm yeah. like, like, why are you spending all your hours in the office? Like, how do we build our marriage? Like, we just got married and you're always not at home. To him, it's like a, hey, you want to have a long marriage? I need to f Work, right, right. <laughs> like, no, no, no. To, to, to me, I would think that if anybody needs to be understanding, it's my wife. And that can be very toxic if not managed properly. Because it's easy for your wife, which is your life partner, to actually feel neglected by you. And that's not what I want. But younger me was at a time whereby, okay, there is someone that's in my company. We are all working late together. Yeah. In those times when they are staying late to finish work or or I pay them back, I pay them partially using friendship, right? Because mm. they got nothing on their night and they want me to hang out with them. It's very hard for me to say, I, will, yeah. I need to go home now, my wife is at home waiting for me. Yeah. Um, or I mean, can lah, honestly, it's a, it's a fair reason lah. But I just, I don't want to have to do that every day. So I try to pick my battles and do it like once a week, twice a week with them. But now, at this stage of our lives, right? Mm. Like if Saturday, let's say on the weekend, you need to go and film. I think I have never given you shit before in the last at least two years, right? Yeah. And like, if you have to go out for dinner with anyone, I also don't give you shit anymore. Last time I do. Yeah. We now really live our yeah. like domestic life quite separately. Fair. Yeah, I, I also fair. do feel like my in my hustle phase, it's not that I didn't want to spend time with you. I understand. Yeah, and yeah. now that my hustle phase has more or less passed, mm. You will come back, uh, mm. you know, but now I'm in the not so hustle phase in the mm. stand in the point where I got my weekends back. Yeah. I got my nights back. Mm. I don't have you on weekends and I don't have you on some nights. Yeah. So we are inversed. Okay. So in some way I'm I'm feeling what you are feeling. Mm. Uh it's just that I, I got the alone, alone time, I quite like it. Like. <laughs> I okay, I really need alone time. Which is something that we're gonna talk about in a future episode. Yeah, I, I do need my alone time, but I just feel like if when you go out and, and do your side hustle on Saturday, right? Yeah. And then I got a bit of alone time, right? The moment you are back, I, I might snap back to being your plus one already. So then my alone time starts at when I drop you off, right? But when my alone time ends, right, is when you decide it ends. That part I'll be seeing. Like when you when you come back, you know? Mm. Yeah. Ayo, so no, but you know what I mean, no. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I know what you mean, I know, but the difference between us is that you see that as a control. You see that as a, like, you, there is a time to yeah. end. But for me, right, I don't have, let's say on weekends, he like to go, I have a my own time. Come back, I'll be very happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very happy to start my weekend with him whenever he's back. Even, like, after work. Whenever he come back from work, right, I run to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, go down your trip first. <laughs> I'm very excited to see him, but 
I understand that there is this difference because of our character that you need a lot of yeah, alone yeah. time, but I don't I cannot spend a, too much alone time. I don't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to have people around. Yeah, so I think that's the difference. Yeah. So I accept your answer. Yeah. And the last question of the day is my partner and I agree on the level of involvement our parents should have in our relationship slash family. Okay, I wanna say I changed answer. Strongly okay. agree. I changed from agree to strongly agree. Really? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Yeah. I understand how involved you want your parents to be in your life. Yes. Okay? Yes. And I respect that, right? Yeah. I pay her, right? Yeah. I wanna ask strongly because I want to give you kudos. Mm. Because I feel like you understand how involved I want my parents to be in my life. Yes. But I don't always physically live up to what I want. I'm hoping to spend even more time with my family. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah. But I'm the one that always no time. Correct. I'm the one pushing you to make. You a are the one yeah. that forced me to make time. Yes. So I feel like you understand where I wanna be with my family. Yeah. And you push me there. Yeah. Yeah. With that, I want to give you a strongly agree. It's done. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay lah, I changed my answer to strongly agree lah. Ah, yeah, actually, yeah. actually, you know, they, they are really quite hands off with us really. Like yeah. both sides of our parents. Like even when we say we don't want to have kids, they are okay. When it came to our wedding planning, they are even more hands off. Yeah. Like my, my mom tried to insist on certain stuff. Yeah. But we still were very, we were very strong and firm. Yeah. 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 And her mother also like back off. You know, she yeah, tried yeah, a lot. She yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we finished the quiz, or rather you have seen the highlights of us going through the quiz. I think it's a fun and useful activity that gives you insights to your relationship health. The questions are very thought-provoking. Yes. It helps me think about our marriage. And at the end of the day, you get to control that conversation. They give you the guide. If you need to, you create some safe words and whatnot, right? To say when you need a break so that you all calm down and you all speak in a calmer state as opposed well from an emotional state. If you are looking to get married or have already been married, you'd like to do a relationship check. We're gonna share the link in the description. Do take some time with your partner. Yeah. Then in the end of the day, got conclusion one. So I was just, we, are, we are aligned, right? Yes. And give us some pointers on this is what I should look at and or what should we should further segment. discuss on to yeah, so communicate better. Once again, we have included the link to this quiz in the description. We really uh, recommend you all to try it. So in our previous videos, we talked about our experience with Engage Encounter, the Catholic version of um, wedding marriage prep, la, which kind of prepared us for a good foundation as we start our life together, talking about finances, sex, dealing with conflicts and so on. Families for Life also provides a variety of marriage programs for couples in different stages of their marriage to dive deeper into topics that are covered in this quiz. And you can learn things like research to back strategies to learn how to better communicate with your partner when you face conflicts and to better manage the relationship with your in-laws. And that's all for this episode. Please put it in the comment section. Let us know what are things couples should talk about before they get married or before they move on to the next level, especially to the lots of couples that watch this. Hopefully they are. Uh, let us know and let's all learn from each other. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank Please you. subscribe. Bye-bye.